For months, Toronto has been home to a big budget Hollywood production. And tonight, as stars celebrate the wrap of filming Suicide Squad, they're coming to the aid of a little girl with a lemonade stand. It's all part of her quest to help her brother living with a rare disease. CTV's Heather Wright was there for the star-studded surprise and joins us live now from Queen Street. Hi, Heather. Hi, Ashley. Yes, when you asked Naama Uzen who she was waiting for as she had her lemonade stand on John Street this afternoon, she just said the celebrities. Yes, two of the stars of Suicide Squad stopped by for some lemonade. But if you ask the people who are at the lemonade stand, well, Naama has become quite a celebrity in her own right as she tries to raise money to help her older brother. 50 cents for lemonade? That's a bargain. Naama Uzen had some famous customers at her lemonade stand this afternoon. Tilt it. This way, this way. That way. Margot Robbie and Jai Courtney are both in Toronto to shoot the superhero action movie The Suicide Squad. And before hitting their film's rap party, they hit Naama's lemonade stand. Heard about uh, Naama's story and what she was doing for her brother Nadav, and I just think it's it's so inspiring. It just shows that there's there's no act too small, you know, when you're when you're talking about making a difference. About a year and a half ago, six-year-old Naama started selling lemonade. She wanted to raise money to help her older brother, who has Angelman syndrome. Because then all the Angelman kids will be able to talk, not have seizures and epilepsy. Angelman syndrome affects about 1 in 15,000 people. It's a genetic disorder that impedes speech, mobility, and can cause frequent seizures. Everything is just day to day, getting a little bit better, one step at a time. It's so, each little step is so meaningful to his daily life. A quality of life that is improving thanks to increased awareness and fundraising, something that Naama has helped tremendously. To date, she has raised more than $64,000 for the Foundation for Angelman Syndrome Therapeutics, or FAST. And after today, she has a few famous friends. I used to do like all kind of like little stands like this when I was little and um, I just spend the profits on like lollies at the corner store. So I'm glad she's doing something far more noble with the cause, yeah. These two actors may play superheroes on the big screen, but dressed in her cape and mask, Naama is an everyday superhero to her brother, her family and the thousands of children living with Angelman syndrome. So what's your magic power? To cure AS. A superhero goal that may soon be achieved one glass of lemonade at a time. So with Naama's help in that $64,000 that she has helped raise, there are a number of clinical trials that are underway to help find a cure for Angelman syndrome. There's a research chair in her name with someone who is dedicated to researching this disease. Now on the flip side, Suicide Squad, it wrapped up filming early this morning. The stars said they were a little late coming to Naama's lemonade stand because they were up until about 9 a.m. this morning doing the last shoots of that movie. They're having their wrap party tonight and that film it will be in the theaters next summer reporting live i'm heather wright ashley back to you thank you so much heather